Hey guys, Kid Guru here for the Tech World, and today I have a Sony Vegas video for you guys. I know I haven't made these in a while. This is a one answering questions, kind of showing a tutorial. Um, I kind of cut off the top part of this message. It was sent from a user named Underdog Corona because he had some stuff that he wanted me to keep private on the project he's currently working on. But he basically says he's working in Sony Vegas 9 trying to make this project. And um, as you see here, he says, so what he did, he got the image, he wants to make a, basically, uh, he wants to add images on top of video and he wants to know how to kind of fade it out and have it stay in the same area because he's going to have a lot of clips coming in. And so you see here, also, would you know how to make the images fade away instead of instantly disappearing? And he gave me an example image that I checked out. And I thought I should make this response just to help him out. So with that, we're going to jump over to the Vegas suite, and we're going to show him how to do some stuff. Okay, so here we are in Sony Vegas 8. Now, keep in mind, I actually, I'm not using uh, Vegas 9, and that's what he asked. Same concept, though. Sorry, it's a little shrunk because I'm recording in 1280 by 720, so I have to kind of size the window down. Anyhow. First off, um, my example, you're going to want to get two media clips. You're going to want to get your video clip and your image that you're going to use. For example, I have this watermark logo here, and I have this video that I had to make for uh, class. So I got to drop the video in, and that's just the audio, so my bad. Hang on, that was the audio track. I'm going to drop the whole video in. And then there's the video and the audio, and I'm just going to kind of... How do I no, I'll just leave it on. Anyway, okay, so now to actually put the image overlaying it, you're going to want to... Just take the image and drag it down under the track here. Kind of stretch it out. Now, when I go over here, or actually, I want to put this on. I want to put the video under the image. I want to make sure the image is on top. So you might want to organize your tracks a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and delete my top track here because I didn't delete that. Hang on. So just make sure your image is always on top of the video track. And sorry here, I have to delete these. And I have to move this. Down here, and down that up top. Okay, so make sure your image is on top of the video, and it'll overlay it. As you see here in the display window, you have the image right there. Now you're going to want to resize it so it fits. So you're going to want to click the Event Pan Crop button, and it's going to bring up this window. Now you're going to want to pull out for making it smaller, and if you're pushing in, it would zoom it in. So as you see here, as I zoom out, as I pull out on the little uh, boxes here, sorry, let me just extend, expand this. As I pull out, the image gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Now let's say I want to kind of just stick in the top left corner. I can maneuver that around. And as you see there, it's right there in my video. And as I play it, it goes, you know, it just stays right there. Now you can add multiple images. He can add whatever watermark, whatever, you know, type of image he wants to add in there. So now he said, what if I want the same image stay in the same place if I have multiple clips? So let's say I just snipped all these up and they're all different, hypothetically speaking, let's say they're all different clips. All you really have to do is just expand this whole thing over, and it'll just stay over wherever. The image will stay over each different clip, no matter what, you know, if they're different videos, stuff like that. As long as the image is on the its own uh, track, or, you know, yeah, its own track, and it's expanding over the clips, then it'll overlay. Um, and, yeah. Now, lastly, how to make the image fade away. It's really simple. Now, all you got to do is you got to go, instead of instantly disappearing like it does, so if I was to go here and hit play... You'll notice the video just, uh, the image kind of just, you know, pops away. Now, if you go to the very top right, you'll see a fade offset. You just want to click that and drag off to the left. And you see there, that's how the fade's going to go away as it drags down. And, you know, you can make it uh, longer. And I'm just going to show you how it works right here. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to hit play. Sorry. Wrong area. I'm going to start from right around here. Okay, so I'll hit play, and you'll see the thing will stay, and then it's going to start to fade away. And here it goes, so it fades down as a line, and the opacity kind of goes away. And you can fade it in, fade it out, whatever you want to do. You can make the fade more, you know, quicker. A lot of stuff you can do, and as you see here, mine's just slowly fading away. The longer the line is, the slower it'll fade. And again, just go in the top right corner, and or wherever the fade off the ends and just drag it around and simple as that so I hope this helped you uh, underdog um, you know how to show you how to um, fade the images off and how to expand it over and overlay it over your video tracks um, so yeah hope this helps you in your project hope this helps anybody else out there who's in the Vegas editing you know suite anyways guys thanks for listening uh, thanks for watching the video don't forget to check out the site at adrianstech.com send your request 
uh, questions, emails, etc. to adrianstech at gmail.com. We'll be sure to get back to you in the video response or message. Anyways, guys, thanks again. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.